up Tangerines? If you recognize where I'm standing right now, it is because it's the very well-known Paseo de Montejo in Merida. The very highly recommended city. Expats come here. It's touted as the safest place in Mexico. So we're going to check out the city today and see what it has to offer. And you might notice that there's a lot of traffic behind us right now, but tomorrow it's going to be completely clear for bikes, skateboards, people walking dogs to have free reign of the road. So. That's more like it. So this is what in Merida is called Paseo Recreativo, and as you can see, bikes, walking, dogs. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy this very beautiful Sunday morning. It is like 75 degrees, I think. Maybe heading out 80 today, quite nice. our previous videos you know we love doing this in any city that has it it seems like most of the big Mexican cities like Guadalajara, Puebla, here, Morelia. Morelia pretty much all of them have it on Sunday and it happens every Sunday from around 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. depending on the place so this is just a great time to like go out and walk around meet people pet dogs <laughs> that's my favorite part anyway and Laska's favorite part is that she gets to smell all the smells and eat all of the trash on the ground and get into trouble. Do you want to be Laska the pink nose rain dog? Santa's little helper? <laughs> Laska the pink nose rain dog. <laughs> so one thing we really liked about this here is that there were so many different kinds of bikes available for rent. Tandem bikes in various ways like sitting next to each other or in front and back with shade above you. Like tricycle, adult tricycle mm -hmm. types. Yeah, that was really cool. Maddie, I have a question for you. What is this? I noticed an interesting similarity between here and where we lived for a while in Guadalajara. Off of Avenida Vallarta in Guadalajara, that's where every Sunday they would close down the roads and you could bike, walk, ride your bike, walk your dog, whatever. Bike, and walk, ride your bike? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Lining Avenida Vallarta are a bunch of mansions. That's where a lot of the money was back in the day. Well, here, on the same street where they closed down every Sundays, there's a bunch of old mansions like this one. So it wasn't long before Jordan found himself a gigante litro, the fresh squeezed juice for 45 pesos. One of the great joys of being in Mexico is that this is an affordable thing that you can buy even on a fancy pants street like Paseo de Montejo. <laughs> How's it taste? Really good and I actually like even better that this isn't squeezed juice it's like a smoothie of a whole bunch of vegetables and fruits blended all together so you have all don't the fiber. lose all the nutrients. Yeah, and fiber slows down the absorption of sugar, which is better than drinking just straight up juice. Sure. Come on a date with me. <laughs> so, Ooh, I got a cute one. <laughs> This is one mansion that's currently for rent on Paseo de Montejo. One of our friends in Guadalajara used to live in one of those mansions and it was haunted. So if you rent this place, you might be hanging out with some other spirits. Also on this road, along with tons of coffee shops and restaurants and banks, there's this Walmart here that's pretty hidden away. I actually thought with the design of the outside that it was a museum or something. <laughs> And before we forget, where have we been for a while? Well, I was recovering from being sick after San Cristobal de las Casas, and immediately after getting sick, we had to drive a long day of driving to get to Villa Hermosa. We only spent one night there and then had another long day of driving to get to, where did we go? Campeche? Campeche. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that long, but... <laughs> I mean, long for being sick, so it yeah. did not help me get better at all. So then once we got to Merida, we needed to like chill for a little bit. And then also I was feeling like I needed a break because of some intense 
trolling that we got on Facebook and so I was sort of reconsidering all my life decisions that led us up to that point. <laughs> But once we were finally ready to start making videos again, for a few days straight, it was like hurricane windy here in Merida, like really, really bad. And one flaw that this camera has is that it picks up wind noise like crazy, even with the wind, re wind reduction, and there's no muff or anything that we could put on it to protect it from that. There's just nothing made that we could buy. We can work with a breeze, but hurricane force winds. <laughs> it, it would just, it would be annoying and the audio would sound terrible. So now we are seriously looking into investing in some external microphones. So if anyone has any thoughts on that or anything they recommend, let us know in the comments because we're always looking for ways we can improve our videos and this would be a huge one. We were told that all the parks in Merida have free Wi-Fi and I noticed there was a free Wi-Fi sign here along Paseo de Montejo as well, but it seems like the internet's super fast here. I see signs for speeds up to 200 megabytes per second or 500. So if you're looking for fast internet, they got you covered. I do imagine that this is the most wealthy area of all of Merida, but this is also the cleanest, most well-kept and nicest area of Merida that we've seen. Of the places in the city that we've seen, this is where I'd want to live here. I imagine if it's anything like any the other big cities we've seen, there's some very wealthy neighborhoods around. Plaza Uptown Merida, this really nice looking mall. It has like a Best Buy and this theater here, which we're gonna see the Grinch in total holiday spirit. In well, total Spanish. In total Spanish, our <laughs> second ever Spanish movie in the theater. Usually we try to see the English ones with the Spanish subtitles. Uh, but anyway, on the way here, we wanted to share, like if you're looking into Merida, some of the nicest, most clean and newer neighborhoods that we've seen in the city so far are around Paseo de Montejo and north and east of there. Where we're staying right now is the Centro Historico area, so it's much more aged, historic obviously, uh, a little rougher around the edges, lots more Trash. trash. But in the meantime, we are going to our first ever upscale Mexican movie theater, Cinemex. And if you get that reference, you're a true, true tangerine. This is a Cinemex Premium. I believe there's three levels of Cinemex, Cinemex Regular, Cinemex Premium, and then Cinemex Platinum or something, or Platino. Platino. And these tickets were 79 pesos each, and I think they're going to be nice reclining seats, but we'll see what they're like when we get in there. think of this theater, Cinemax versus Cinepolis, which we always go to Cinepolis? Well, it's hard to compare because we've been to Cinepolis, like the standard version, many, many times in the VIP once. But this, it's like a step above Cinepolis standard because you have the nicer seats. They don't recline, you don't have service at your seat, but they are bigger and nicer than regular movie theater seats. And pretty reasonably priced, 79 pesos a person. What did you think of the Grinch in Espanol? <laughs> Well, I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to follow along for most of it, but I didn't understand every single word. Uh, pretty good movie, though. How about you? I thought that was a super cute movie, and I agree with everything you say, said about the theater. So we were looking to go to this delicious place called Chaya Maya, which we've now had for breakfast and dinner. And if there was one restaurant that I would recommend, it would be that one. But it literally had a line out the door, so we did not want to wait like two hours for a table. Not today. Not today. <laughs> we were meandering around. It's a little before 5 p.m. and found this restaurant called Coyote Maya. Well, Chaya Maya to Coyote Maya. <laughs> It turns out that in this city, a lot of the restaurants have weird hours, like they're all closed from like 
four to six or seven, or some don't open until six or seven, so it's tough to find a restaurant around this time of day, but this looks pretty good. So we're gonna check it out. One thing that's pretty unique to maybe the Yucatan, but we, this is the first time we've seen it here in Merida, is chaya, and chaya tea specifically. Well, actually, we saw chaya the first time in Tulum, so maybe it's like a Yucatan thing, but they make this green tea, tea, juice, I'm messing all of this up. First of all, we are in the Yucatan Peninsula, not the Yucatan. I always want to abbreviate it that way, but apparently that's not correct. Second of all, chaya is like a leaf-like leaf vegetable, similar to spinach, but with the taste of basil. Here, they make it into an agua fresca type deal. This one, what do you think of it? It makes me feel like I'm drinking something healthy. It's still good, but it has lots of leafy essence. <laughs> leafy essence. <laughs> Well, you have a little bit of leafy essence in your teeth, so. <laughs> so what'd you get for dinner? A tamarindo chicken, and it was 170 pesos. How about you? I got a chaya salad, and it was 125 pesos, no meat or anything, I so. I got the Mayan salad. A Mayan chaya salad. It had chaya leaves on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the prices are notably higher in the city, I think, and I don't know if that's something I should have expected or not, being in the Yucatan Peninsula. They're lower than places like Cancun or Playa del Carmen, but higher than most cities in Mexico. Yeah. But anyway, that wraps up our day for today. We're going to head home and see you tomorrow. Uh, we are currently in Cafe Riqueza. Cafe Riqueza, which we have found it's some of the best coffee we've tried in the whole city with really good prices as well. So we're kicking off the day here. in Merida called Paseo 600 or Paseo 60. Wow, that was a great speech, Jordan. Everyone's oh. applauding you. <laughs> oh, no, it's you. probably the live music. The live Christmas music. Yay, Christmas music! <laughs> <laughs> She's been wanting her Christmas music so badly. No one is playing Christmas music. It makes me a little sad. <laughs> but anyway, there's a few restaurants in here right now. More are coming in, but they're all high, fine dining restaurants. High? Classy, fine <laughs> classy fine dining restaurants. Very, very classy. Great ambiance, cool live music, fountains, this fountain over top of the escalators up from the parking garage. I mean, it's like... Fancy. I'm surprised they let us in this place. <laughs> <laughs> this place is more expensive than what we're used to eating. But, for example, Maddie found about the cheapest salad she could here, and it was 95 pesos. And I got a really good walk thing with like rice and chicken and various stuff for 140 pesos so the prices could be worse and it was really good food and this is a great ambiance especially since there's going to be more restaurants very soon and a hotel that's going to open up especially considering there's going to be more restaurants <laughs> very soon yeah, and there's a hotel it. that's going to be opening <laughs> up <laughs> we have some exciting stuff coming up for you guys like a red lake with flamingos so be sure to subscribe to our channel so you see those and <laughs> that bell so you get notified the next time we put out a new video about this pink sh I mean this pink stuff <laughs> we'll see you there